Hey guys, yo, what's up? My name's Seb and welcome to Jump Inside Unleashed. Today we're doing Hogwarts Legacy and it's the state of play gameplay trailer. It pretty much it's going to tell you what's inside the game and then I'm going to tell you a few things that I kind of want to see inside the game. I think it's doing a lot of them already but there are a few things that I do want to mention that I really hope they're in the game. So let's go watch the trailer. Let's see what we think about this. We're only going to play this for six minutes. It's a 14 minute long trailer. If you want to see the full trailer itself, you can check out the links in the description. I will put them down there. All right, let's begin. Okay, so here we have, we pretty much have Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. Love it, yes, brilliant. You're a new student at the famed School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I love some of this detail already in this trailer. It looks really good. I'm loving every second. ...behind the return of this forgotten magic and who is seeking to harness it to destroy wizard kind, as you may be the one that decides the fate of the entire wizarding world. This is great. I love the detail so far. Before you can study Ooh, there we go. And begin to solve these mysteries, you must create the witch or wizard you want to be. I like how he's got a scar along his face, and he's a student, like he's been one of the four he's been in fights quite clearly Gryffindor, with Hufflepuff, with a dog or something. Or After you settle into your dormitory, you will meet a very big, scary dog. Common room. You will then need to attend classes, and you do have some catching up to do, as you were starting Hogwarts late as a fifth year. So you are the new student. You'll begin your studies attending charms, Life defense at Hogwarts. against the dark okay. arts, herbology, and potions classes, to name a few. Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. The best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Yeah, this, I love everything this game's offering right now. I love the detail. I love the floor. I love the design. I'm loving everything. There's so much extra things that I'm liking as well. Like, oh, like that. Just the, the different types of things you can do in this. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. Here, you'll meet your professors and learn to cast spells, grow magical plants, brew potions, and more. In between classes, you'll be able to explore the castle famous for its secrets, enchantments, and Everything mysteries. looks beautiful. You'll discover dungeons and secret passageways, Accio. as well as challenging puzzles Accio. that will require magical skill and a clever mind to solve. And just one that nips down the stairs and doesn't question anything about the door they just opened out of the picture. You've never been able to explore before. It's the late 1800s, so while the common rooms and classes may be familiar, most of your professors will not be. However, you may recognize a few faces. Ah, uh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the Headless Hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win them over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. You'll come to know this eclectic group of talented witches and wizards in class and while completing side assignments that are part of a special curriculum. Ones designed to help you catch up with the other fifth years at your own speed. Love it. Just love it. And there's so much callbacks to the original movies. In the area surrounding Hogwarts. The magical abilities you learn to master through your schoolwork will soon become tested as you unravel a dangerous mystery by working alongside the accomplished and yet enigmatic Professor Fig to try and discover if the rumors of a mounting goblin rebellion hold any weight. Okay, and if the safety of this part lies in the balance. I have this part here makes me think of there's a story going on. And yeah, I can kind of see that story fleshing out. Don't know if it's a long story, but I'm not that bothered. I'm more interested in the uh, exploration of this game. The wizarding world of this era is fraught with dangers. Creatures corrupted by a magical force, powerful goblins, and sinister witches and wizards, all willing to fight, even kill, to achieve their own goals. 
In fact, there's an uneasy alliance between the goblins and dark wizards. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. But all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? Are you not telling me? But perhaps you shouldn't involve yourself with that just yet. Let's go. There are generally some things that you just like, a movie game is such a, a, a thing that should never happen. Or a game movie, like you shouldn't make a movie out of a game, you should never make a game out of a movie. Because it can be, it's such a rare thing. But a game like this passes those boundaries Enemies because unique defensive and offensive abilities, including blasting curses, stunning spells, enchanted weaponry, and more. While some may attack directly, others might enchant and incapacitate you. Mastery of the Shield Charm allows you to deflect ranged spells and direct weapon strikes. Yeah, I'm talking. I'm talking here. I'm talking. Okay, I'm going to pause you now because I've had enough of you. Right, okay, because he keeps talking. All right, okay. We'll go over a few bits later on. If you want to catch the full trailer, again, links are in the description. So, um, no, yeah, movie games should never be a thing. Um, I just want to add that um, movie games should never ever be a thing. You should never make a game out of a movie. You should never make a movie out of a game. But sometimes, sometimes you've got these lore settings. These, these, uh, like, like for example, like Lord of the Rings. There's like a, there's a world and there's lore about it. Uh, and and uh, like this game here, there's lore around this world. There's, you know, there's always stories coming out of it. And and you you can now make a game out of it. it, it it looks like it could be fun if you know if you can do the right lore around the game that you're making then you know yeah, yeah you've got a chance to make it fun and yeah i really hope this does well because i'm i'm quite excited for this anyway gonna move on to some bits in this trailer that i really i've made some notes down that i really want to see hit home so for example okay so start starting off by, by the way this this game it looks like you're here to do a mission, like a story. There's definitely a story going on in certain parts of this game. So you, you, you can kind of see that flesh out in this uh, trailer because like, it, you know, it's, it's, it's really cool. There's different exploration places and, you know, there's really cool stuff. Some other stuff that I want to do, uh, what's very important that I really hope they bring across is I really want them to bring across this lovely and awesome character creation mode. I, I think it's very important to see um character creation i want to see this flesh out to you know like its full settings like eye customization hair customization literally i, I don't just want to create the character i want to create every design in detail on that character and obviously there's got to be a system way of which how she's going to be in so maybe there's a questionnaire system of deciding which type of person you know and character are you going to be when you go into this place Actually, i want that to be just random I, I, i'd like to like do, do like a questionnaire thing like, like they do in like the game of fallout 3 where you did have to do the goat test next up there's like this thing where you can do classes and um and and that's really cool i love the fact that we can that there's going to be like a system of where we're going to have able to learn spells in classes what i want um is like a grade system i would love there to be like um a grade system in this where when you come out of a lesson or you know you get like a grade or a thing um i, th I think other games have done this with that type of system before but like um there's not that many of them and uh what is it like bully i think bully did it but i can't remember yeah there was a thing like bully you could go up a grade every time you did a lesson if you did it successfully I want this game to kind of be that same thing. I, I want this game to kind of be like, once you finish the lesson, you get marks on how well you did in the lesson. I think that would be really cool. One thing I really, yeah, another thing I want inside this whole game is a uh, full exploration of the whole castle kind of thing. The castle is iconic um, and all the grounds around it are also iconic. I don't want it just to be like, you've got to do missions in this and you can only explore certain areas. I want the full thing to be explorable. I want to be able to just to go up and down stairs and go into places and, you know, obviously locked out places are going to be important, but to just visit things and see things and, you know, make it grand. And I, yeah, I just want to be able to run around and explore different places. And I really hope this comes into like, you know, something you see on the game. Um, 
Okay, I'm going to bring it back now. I'm really excited for this game. I can't wait for this game to actually get released. It looks really cool. Um, I, I want to see it at its best. And um, it looks like it gets released in 2022. Don't know when in 2022. It doesn't actually tell me. But uh, when it does get released, I, I'm so looking forward to playing some of this stuff. So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoy. If you do enjoy, tell me what you think about the video. And I'll see you next time on Jump Inside Games. Jump Inside, out.